<laughs> That's how my day's going. Hey, everybody. It's Chris from Tipton and Hearst. And today's happy is that we're celebrating a Ministry Professionals Day. So I thought I would make up some really simple and quick, hopefully cute, bud vases. The bud vases themselves are kind of out there. They're from Accent Decor, and they're very architectural. Well, not architectural. They're very um, unique, let's put it that way. It's kind of like when I bought these, I must have been drunk in a ditch. Anyway, kind of fun, though. Very, um, we call that bohemian slash art. Very artsy. What do you think, Christina? I think they're kind of cool. I mean, they're different. Certainly not my gig, but they're different. They are different. You know what? They're, what do you always say? There is something for everybody. Something for everybody. I mean, that one over there looks like a snowman with its head chopped off. Well, that one's cute, too. That just came in from Creative Co-op. So, so what I that one over thought there? I snowman. would do is actually work on some cute little designs that we will put in our cooler. And lo and behold, every time you make something up like that, nine times out of ten, they're going to sell. So, we're going to put one here. And we're going to put one here, just like that. We're going to crisscross these because the, the base itself goes down this way. So that Now, if you wanted to, you could actually go back and do some kind of binding to go down like that if you want to, but I'm not going to do that today. And then I'm going to take a little bit of very, as I said, all these are going to be really super, super simple. So, so what's that? Brazilian berry. Brasilia. Isn't that Brasilia? Br br I thought it was Brunia Ball. Brunia Ball, that's right. I don't know. Man. I'm, you're no, probably no, no. right. No, no, no. No, not today. Brunilia Balls? What is it? Brunio Ball. You said I'm Brunio, but I thought it was Brazilian. Well, it probably well, is. These. Yo, hey. look. This is what it is. <laughs> that's all we're using. But normally it's like really tight on the top, so I don't know if this is kind of a different variety. I don't think it is, but normally they're like really clustered in the top. Today, these have a lot of laterals on them, so they're really kind of... Well, frilly. don't ask Miss Frida today, because Miss Frida's having a bad day. Bad day at the Frida household. Not she Frida said, household, but downstairs in the, Frida, in the Frida office. I just talked to her. She said 48 of her boxes did not ship for the event on Saturday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Okay, so we have family from North Carolina, Indiana, Dirks, Arkansas, cool. Bella Vista, New Jersey... I'm going to leave that in there for right now. Houston, Michigan, Virginia, Pocahontas, Idaho, oh. New Jersey. Cool. Delaware. Well, a lady, I was what, giving this stuff up, trying to run downstairs. And lady said, hey, I, I'm part of the Happy Family. And I said, well, where are you from? Because normally when people say that, that means that they're traveling. She goes, oh, I'm here in Little Rock. <laughs> anyway, so, but you know, on Friday we have a Happy Family people. members. Uh, huh? We yeah. have some people that will be yeah, live in studio live Friday. Live in studio, and they, they have been made their reservations. They have. So, anyway, I think it's kind of fun. What do you think? That is cute. What do y'all think? Fly away. Here we go. I, I really think I could do something like that. Well, I think you might be doing that here in a minute. So. <laughs> Maybe so. That's my Mother's Day task. <laughs> so this other one, I'm going to try to do something a little different than that. Hey, you better take care. Are those bad orchids, or are they still good? They're still good. Because Miss Amanda might need them for corsages this weekend. The purple ones? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. I don't think she needs purple ones. But I think I have never, a purple You one. never know. So let's do this. So with these orchid stems, I'm going to try to spread the wealth on these. And nine times out of ten, when you get these larger stems in, they've got tons of blooms. Well, you really can't use the blooms on the bottom. So what, I, what I'll do is I'll go through and cut those off, and that'll still leave me a great stem to work with. Just a little, a little sharing right there going on. So, so you can repurpose all of it and not waste anything. So I'm just going to cut those right down to the stem. Miss Kay is celebrating so, her 60th birthday today. Well, happy birthday. So on this one, we're going to take just a little bit of the pith because it's already in a circular motion. And I'm gonna, these already have water in them, so I don't think I'm just doing it without the water, which today's coming around. I think I might be not doing it without the water, but I'm going to put this right in there. I'm going to add a nut. You know what? I don't even think it needs, this. I don't even needs the greenery. I like it better without the greenery. What do you think, Christina? I like it better without the greenery. Me too. The orchid shows That's up really better. That's really pretty, uh, for sure. Yeah. And then sometimes you'll get these without the noses or the nose will go bad. You can just pop that right off. But you want to use that one down low, like a low, another layer in the bottom. 
because you're going to pull this other pedal on top so no one will ever not know that that's not there. I mean, we'll spin that around for you like that. So now let's go back and add a couple pieces of lily grass. So, Mr. Chris, what is the difference in lily grass and monkey grass? I think monkey grass grows in your yard. Oh, okay. And lily grass is you pay well, for lily it. grass. Yeah, you pay them for it, so it's real important. Okay. So the cool thing about these vases, the max in the cores, you always can go back and use the tension to catch through here. Oops. Just like that. That one just does not that want to That one does not want to play well in the sandbox. But then once you do that knot, then you can go back and use that original knot to slide these through and doing layers of the lily grass on top. Now that you said monkey grass, I'm gonna probably call it monkey grass here in a minute. Gives it more dimension by doing what's called, I call it netting back over. Miss Serena is watching from Houston, Texas today. Oh cool. She might see my mom and dad this week. Well awesome. Just like that. That one right in there. I'll hold your mouth just. I was right. gonna say I feel like I'm just like holding my breath to make sure. It oh goes goodness, right. well, it's not that. It's not that important by any means. So anyway, just one more of those. I think that turned out kind of cute. So what's the difference with bear grass, or is it the bear same grass, as lily grass? Oh, bear grass will cut you. Bear grasses are really thin, and in the '80s, that was like all the rage. Everyone had to have bear grass. But it's real thin layers that like it would be half of this but also if you turn it the wrong way it'll actually give you like a paper cut oh yeah not cool no thanks pass so there's that one look how cute kind of cute and then on this one we're just going to put one on each side let's do let's go ahead and put these in first so i don't have to manipulate them too much like that we're going to go back and add just two blooms here on the bottom. These are very cool, Mr. Chris. Well, fun. And something different. Well, yeah. And, you Unique know, containers are always It's always fun. kind of fun when you do those. Because we won't, we won't web these as far as putting them on the web. Because we didn't buy that enough of them to web it. But Shelby says thank you. <laughs> Today <laughs> especially. I have been driving her crazy anyway so well and this is great for admins like you were saying because you know somebody just has a little desk you know it, you, right they don't always need a large arrangement just something smaller is nice. right and we've been kind of shocked today about how busy we've been I really thought you know a lot of people aren't still back in the offices yet but today they were this one might be my favorite it's less sticky. You know I'm for it if it's less sticky. We'll pull that down like that. Miss Alice said that the vases remind her of Aztec art. Uh, that's what I was thinking, but I didn't know the right word for it. You know, it's almost kind of like some of that George O'Keefe stuff we looked at. Oh, goodness. Yeah, let's not go there. Let's not. Let's say we did. Okay. That's kind of cute, though. That's cute. I like that one. Okay. What do you all think? And then this, I've already done that one. Oh, I don't know what I was going to do with this one. If I can get it to work. I'll take that one there. I was just going to do two simple. Oh, I got more than that. The problem with this vase, though, is that it crisscrosses. I mean, I can't go straight into it. So I'm having to do everything at an angle. And these ranunculus literally just walked in the door. So they're still hydrate, dehydrated. They're taking up water as we speak. I'm going to take that one down real short. Just to add a little bit of visual weight to the bottom. I'm going to cut that limb, that petal off there. Like that. Ms. K said it looks like a little purse. That is a that little one looks purse. Like. So then 
Why don't we take a couple of these and crisscross that. And I'm going to crisscross this. And I'm going to angle that. I'm going to work that back in through here. Oh, goodness, y'all. He's getting crafty. I'm getting crafty. Got to go with the flow, Christina. That's right. So how's everybody doing out there today? Everybody's good. Good. Miss Jan said she's so glad that she caught us live today. Miss Cheryl said she's so glad to have finally caught us live. She said, you are amazing. Everyone says that it looks really good. Oh, cool. So what I'm going to do with this, the cool thing about this cane, you actually can cut it, and then you can just slide this through it, just like that. And that'll catch right in there. Then I thought I had more of these. Well, mercy. Well, oh, mercy. If ifs and buts were candy and nuts, what a lovely world it would be, right? Like a wedge. A lot of people are loving the horsetail, too. I do. You know, it's kind of growing on me. I'm not going to lie. Well, it's kind of fun. You know, it's one of the oldest forms of foliage or plant material on the earth. And supposedly, just supposedly, it's what? Up! Oh, look at that. It just blew up. But look how cool that is without the panels. Look at that. <laughs> I would love to go back and watch the video of your face and yeah, what it just like, looked like. Oh, well, it happens, you know. Anyway, supposedly, that was what they made Moses' basket out of. Oh, really? I didn't know mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. I wasn't there, so I don't know, but that's what I've been told. That's very artsy. Very. Very artsy. That's probably one of those they say, you should have thrown that in the trash. Anyways. Well, there's the trash <laughs> right behind it. <laughs> hey, something for everybody, right? So let's just take our scraps, and we're going to put one right in here, one of those. I don't know if I want to do that or not. I don't think I want to do that. We got that. We got one more stem of this. wish I could kind of weave that through, but I don't think I can do that. Not gonna happen. You can't. I don't oh, it'll think break so. it. Yeah, you know, I mean, cool if they would have like zigzagged these when they mm -hmm. when they molded them, but nobody asked me. So, you know what we'll do? Let's just do this. Oh gosh, I thought we were oh, gonna get we're away. Gonna get away. You thought we were, but no comprende. We're just gonna make an armature out of it. Let's do it. Let's. Do I'm it. so excited. I knew you would be. That will be cool though. These kind of containers, I, I like the difference in yeah. them. I already made a couple series up this morning in the cooler. Did they sell? Uh, I sold a couple. I think I'm going to go back and redo them, though, because these are actually cooler looking than those. those. I was kind of rushing and didn't really get too creative with them. So There you go. Uh, so we're going to go back and fix them. there so now let's see if we can go back and then weave this oh it just hit me in the ear weave that back in there today's <laughs> a day like, hey yeah we're just happy to be here right that's right there Somebody said these would make sweet little Mother's Day gifts from child, it children. Is exactly. I wish I could do. I'm going to wedge one more of that into there. Get kind of out here, but let's go for it. I wish that kind of drooped more. Miss Kate said the willow is going to whoop you. I know. Kind of did. Kind of did get. So, are the containers kind of terracotta? They are terracotta. They're a, a, a form of terracotta. Feels like they're they're that kind of material. For 
for sure. Someone asked, do we sell silk flowers? Absolutely. We probably have, not to brag, but we probably have like the largest selection of silk flowers. Uh, I'm pretty sure even, even as much as the mass market stores have in Little Rock. I would definitely say so. I know we have a better quality of it, and we know we have a larger variety of it. Oh, that looks good. I like that. There's that one. So let's take our scraps. Because we've got that left. Oh, here's one of our new containers. Okay, someone just called me. Uh, break it off? I don't know. Well, all you can do is ask the question. Can y'all hear us? Hopefully they can. I'm going to take that right off like that. I'm going to put that right into there. I'm going to add one of these right here. Do we have white uh, poppy silk flowers? We do I have white Do poppies. we have poppy? Okay, if you message us on Facebook, we can get some information to you. Remember we got them in red, orange. I think we have them in white. Okay, I don't Those remember. Those little bitty ones. Remember? Okay, they can still hear us. Swoosh. Oh, swoosh. I'm going to put one here. I want to take a little bit of this just to keep you on your toes, Christina. Oh, goodness. Catch that right in there. It's just a little bit of wire. You can always go back and take a piece of lily grass and do it like this if you want to cover your mechanics up. The well, wire, we can't see. The wire mechanics up like that because the lily grass it, it won't hurt that it's out of water so lasting four weeks and only lasts three weeks so I'm going to weave it right back to that so I covered that up now I'm going to take that and I'm going to take it right just like this I'm going to weave that right into there so that gives you some dimension that way I'm going to take two of these. Oh, my lily grass came undone. Womp womp. I have to do it tighter. So how, what's going on? Today's Wednesday, right? Today's Wednesday. I don't even know what day it is. Miss Donna said, finally seeing you live. She learned so much from you. Oh my gosh. Um, so blessed my brother-in-law is a chris when he were when maybe when he was doing flowers somewhere okay he did flowers for her daughter's wedding maybe when oh fun. Uh, it was like his gift from them oh how fun or even, to them so that's even, very even nice. better right everyone said that they can hear us and everyone just says that today's have been really creative just something different yep But then someone says, not one of your best days, you know, so it's all over. <laughs> well, we got to keep you on your toes, right? We got to keep you keep you watching to see what, what I, if I'm going to get off track or not. So, Miss Judy, who came and visited us, you know, she was right outside of Tulsa. Uh -huh. She's on today. Uh -huh. We have family from Michigan. We have, P or Maryland from all over. You know, I like the all different shades of green in this, all different types and shades. Uh -huh. and yeah. So what you want to do is when you do that kind, you actually want to make sure that you spread that curly willow out. That's going to give it that much more volume. So you look at this, it looks like the range is this wide by this tall, and it really only has two flowers in it. Miss so. Sylvia said this is her favorite type of design. Oh, well, good. Well, all right. I think we've done enough damage today. At least keeps you on your toes. That's right. Anyway, all right. We will see you on Friday. We've got a special event going on next Monday. We're going to actually be in Pine Bluff for the reopening of our Pine Bluff location. We're going to have a ribbon cutting at 2. We're going to be on at 2.30. We're going to give you a walkthrough of what the store looks like and probably see lots of local people. So anyway, and if, if you're in Pine Bluff area or Star City or Sheridan White or wherever, Hall. 
all Whitehall, especially Whitehall, please come see our come to our opening at two thirty. We're gonna have some giveaways. Giveaway and... giveaways. We're gonna have. And Mr. Chris will be there. <laughs> yeah. <I'm> the... <laughs> <laughs> well, then they'll be run the other way. Anyway, so we're going to be there, and we'd love to have you, but we're going to do our, our Facebook Live from down there and show you the store and probably do a couple things there. So anyway, we'll see you Friday, though. It, and so we're getting geared up for Mother's Day, which, don't forget, is next, not this or Sunday. Or even work. Yeah, and next Sunday. All right, <laughs> we'll see you. Bye.